Today on Premiere Prep, I show you my option for DIY light gels. This episode of Premiere Prep is sponsored by EditShare Lightworks. The Lightworks editor has been at the forefront of film editing, having been used on many of the finest films in cinema history. Use coupon code FILMWORLD2017 at checkout to get 40% off your entire Lightworks purchase. Links are in the description. Hey guys, welcome to Premiere Prep. It's me, your host, Michael Pendleton. Sorry for the bad lighting. My lights are kind of preoccupied here. So yes, today we are talking about DIY light gels. And this is basically my option. It's super inexpensive, you get a ton of it, and it works really, really well. So what is that option? Clear plastic basket wrap. That's right, this stuff is only $4 a tube from my local Hobby Lobby, and this stuff is phenomenal. It's super thick, it does the job well. Every time I use it, it just impresses me more and more. Now, the fact that these aren't exactly made for hot lights and everything, you may be asking, will they melt? That's where it's gonna depend on your lights. I am using CFL bulbs, and these things stay cool pretty much forever. I mean, they are, do a phenomenal job at staying at a manageable temperature. And I actually filmed a test, which, stupid me, accidentally deleted the footage, but I had these lights running for over an hour with this stuff on and there was absolutely really no change in temperature on the front panel of these lights. The lights themselves were getting a little bit warm, but these actual panels were just staying cool. There's absolutely no concern to me of the melting with these lights. It was absolutely phenomenal. And so that you can just use them pretty much forever. And I would say on CFLs, at least, there's no real concern of them melting to me. Same thing would have to go probably for LEDs, but any other option tends to get a little bit hotter, so it might be a little bit of a concern for you, but uh, if you're using CFL, LEDs, something like that, something that stays cool, I would say it's not a problem. This episode of Premiere Prep is brought to you by EditShare Lightworks. Lightworks is Hollywood proven video editing software that is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. It's been used on movies such as Hugo, The Aviator, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Wolf of Wall Street, and The King's Speech, just to name a few. With Lightworks' wonderful new user interface, it's ready for any type of project you throw at it. It's also built on FFmpeg, which allow Lightworks to read nearly any video format. Lightworks even works with RED footage, ProRes, and DNX HD, and has 10-bit color capabilities, multicam editing, hardware I.O. support, many built-in effects, and far more as well. Go to LWKS.com and use promo code FILMWORLD2017 to receive a 40% discount off your Lightworks purchase. A link is in the description. And please make sure you tell them that FilmWorld sent you. So here's very simply how it works. I have here two layers of my gels, and you could use one, but for most of my testing, I found that I needed about two to make it uh, enough of a color change, although one can work in many situations. I very simply center it up on my softbox, and with C47 clamps, I go ahead and just clamp it on the top, clamp it on the side, Pull it over and clamp it on the other side. There you go. Super simple. I just love it. It works. It just works and it's super inexpensive and you get tons of it. It's just great. Anyway, so I wanted to put these through some actual testing. So with normal lighting, we get this shot here. And it doesn't look bad, but it's kind of boring. We can always change it up. So I gelled all my lights with the orange gels and got this effect. Looks pretty cool, right? Well, I also wanted to see what else I could do with it, how much more I could push it. So I started using different colored gels on different lights and started getting super cool different effects. And then I got this with orange, blue, and purple, and with a camera tilt and f2.6 aperture on my 50 millimeter Yoshika Prime, 
I get this super cool shot here. There's so many other ways that you could push it and do super cool things yourself. Now that was nicely controlled and tested right here in my studio. But in a couple of weeks, however, I will be going out and shooting a short film using all these lights. We're actually gonna be shooting a jazz scene where we need a bunch of nice jazz scene kind of lighting. So it'll be super fun to test these in a very practical use case. And I'll be using them on some different lights and everything as well. And I cannot wait to get back to you guys with some of the results. That will be super fun. So that is my option for DIY light gels. Super good, super inexpensive, and they just work. I cannot wait to use these on a short film coming up. They're gonna be so good, but there's so many other places you can go with this. You can mix different colors to get different color temperatures. You can just play with it a lot. I have linked in the description my exact rolls of basket wraps, so definitely go there and check that out. But do you guys use this option? Do you use another option? Or do you actually buy your light gels? Let me know in the comments below, or you can go to the Film World forum. I have also linked that in the description. That pretty much concludes this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next episode, we're gonna be going over using vintage lenses for video. Definitely check that out next week. Thank you very much for watching. I'm your host, Michael Pendleton. Remember, live your life one frame at a time, and I will catch you next time.